So in December, I flew out to New Zealand for an interview. Uh, the trip was very quick, just five days, but it gave me a really good chance to have a look around and get a feel for the place. And after returning to the UK, I decided that I wanted to come out here with the family and to take up the job offer. Uh, yeah, once I was in New Zealand, um, Accent were brilliant at uh, arranging for me to go and visit a couple of practices. Um, and I was lucky in securing two job offers. Um, so I had a choice, and they were both close to home. Um, and um, a brilliant opportunity. And I started work, and I'm really, really enjoying it. So the registration process in New Zealand is quite bureaucratic in terms of the number of forms there are to fill in for the Medical Council of New Zealand, but Accent were extremely helpful in guiding me through this process and making sure that all the right boxes were ticked and we had all the right referees. The New Zealand healthcare system is very similar to the British healthcare system in that there's a lot of things provided by the public health service. Uh, but there are a few differences, for example, ACC, the Accident Compensation Commission, which covers uh, the cost of healthcare if you're involved in any sort of accident or have an injury. And that really means that the patients can come and see us and have the confidence to know that they'll get all these problems sorted out without having to be out of pocket. One of the most useful things was being put in touch with an immigration consultant who guided us through the process of applying first of all for our work visas and now the application process for our resident visas. Um, immigration New Zealand require lots of forms to be filled in correctly and lots of paperwork to prove our relationship and uh, how long we've been together. But once all those forms are correctly submitted, the process can run quite smoothly. We knew that travelling halfway around the world with small children was going to be quite challenging. The flights are almost 24 hours, but things were certainly helped by stopping in Singapore for an overnight stay, which allowed us to break the journey. The children had moments where they were asleep and moments when they weren't asleep, and some other people on the plane might have known about that. But uh, overall, they like watching the movies on the seatback TV and eating all the airplane food, so it was quite exciting for them. It takes a while to get over jet lag, probably a seven or eight days really before you're adjusted. But the great thing is the weather in New Zealand tends to be fantastic with lots of sunshine, even when it's cold in Britain. And that really helps. Um, so my advice to anyone in our situation with young children who's thinking about making a move would be to try and do what we did, which is come and um, do a, a recce, um, get to know the area. Um, and have a look and I think you'd be really, really pleasantly surprised. Um, it feels a lot like home in many ways, um, but a bit better. The weather's better, there's more space. Um, we're having a brilliant time.